Hello Plymouth, my name's Luke Pard, I'm your Member of Parliament here. I'm outside Stonehouse Barracks, which is a, a Royal Marines base that's been threatened with closure. In 2015, in the general election, the Conservatives promised to, to keep this base open. They changed their mind after they won that election. Now I'm your MP, I'll be fighting to keep this base open and keep those Royal Marines here in Plymouth. Today I've had Nia Griffith, who's Labour's Shadow Defence Secretary here in Plymouth. Uh, I wanted to get Nia to visit Plymouth so I can show her myself what the base closures mean for our city and why it's really important that we pay our armed forces a decent wage. So Nia, on base closures, what's, your, what's Labour's position on these well, things? Well certainly we're very worried about the Tory lies that we get all the time. It's absolutely essential that we keep Plymouth as a real centre of excellence. So that means keeping our bases here, keeping our barracks here, keeping our marines here and that means making sure that we also treat them properly and that's why we're absolutely determined to make sure that this government realises that we have to live that, leave that, live that, lift that 1% pay cap that we have on public sector pay at the moment. That's why we as the Labour Party put forward a motion in Parliament to raise that cap to pay people properly and yet every single Tory MP, including the Tory MPs from Plymouth, voted that down. In other words, they were saying no to our armed forces and I think that's an absolute disgrace and I'm just so glad to be here with Luke today because I know he's going to stand up properly for Plymouth and actually speak up for the armed forces here. That's great. It was one of my first votes in the House of Commons when the public sector pay cap was there and it wasn't just about paying our doctors, nurses, the brave firefighters that went into Grenfell Tower or the police officers that tackled the terrorists uh, in London Bridge. It's about paying our armed forces a decent wage and when there's a pay cap of 1%, which means no pay bodies can award more than 1%, it means each and every year all our public servants and public sector workers, whether they're in the military, whether the police, uh, firefighters, uh, social workers, whatever it may be, have a real terms pay cut. Now I voted to lift that, uh, all the other Plymouth MPs voted to keep that pay cap in place. Now I've only been an MP for well, about five weeks now I think, five weeks. In that time um, I've been in the Commons Chamber speaking about defence, uh, both in defence questions where Nia gets to quiz the, uh, quiz the government. Uh, this week I asked about the submarine dismantling programme but I've also asked about base closures and uh, making sure that we have enough escort frigates and importantly we need to make sure we've got enough personnel because we can have all the hardware we want in the world but if we haven't got the personnel to properly perform those tasks to defend our country it's all for nothing that's why we've got to lift the one percent pay cap and labor both the shadow teams that uh, that nia leads and uh, backbench mps like myself will be campaigning to keep that strong defense that our country needs pay our armed forces properly and make sure they have the equipment and the resources they need to do so and that's why we're absolutely committed to giving that two percent of our gdp as per the nato requirement to defense to make sure that we can do the things that we're saying we want to do and that's why it's so important that people should recognize that and understand that we are absolutely 100 behind our armed forces and want to see their them paid properly you can find out more about what i'm doing on my defense campaigns on my website lukepard.org or you can go to facebook.com slash lukepard as well thanks so much plymouth see you soon